This is the fourth time I will have crossed the North Pacific. I was a round the worlder in the 15-16 race. I raced on the 11-12 uh, clipper race. I was a circumnavigator on the 17-18 race. This is going to be my third North Pacific crossing. So the North Pacific Crossing, uh, it is the largest body of water on the planet. Um, it's a big race, 6,100 miles. Can be big waves, very, very strong winds, and the depressions will roll across every few days. So there'll be a lot of sail changing to make the most of these uh, weather conditions as they hit. Quite a wet crossing, but some of the sailing is unbelievable. You won't get sailing like this anywhere else in the world. For me, it's one of the last great wildernesses on the planet. I had some very, very emotional encounters on the North Pacific. On the last race, we had the most amazing 36 hours of hurricane force winds as a depression swept across the fleet. We had waves of over 22 metres. And to put that into perspective, that means the waves were between the middle spreader and the top spreader. They were above that height. But actually, a lot of the time during that time, it was sunshine, but it was hyper cold. So all the wave action and all the molecules coming out of the wave were in hyper, hyper definition. And to see the rawness of wilderness that was being thrown out, and no one else on the planet was seeing it, it was so special. I am not good with cold weather. And on the North Pacific, not every day, but quite a few days are really, really bitterly cold. It can feel like literally sitting in an ice box while somebody's spraying water on you. It hurts and it's unpleasant. Every single one of us had really difficult down moments where you just didn't have the energy anymore. The cold seeps it out of you, but also the time and the relentlessness. There's many things that this race brings to the world. The wildlife, the beauty of Mother Nature, the ferocity of Mother Nature, the camaraderie of your crew, and um, obviously completing. They'll walk away with this like amazing feeling of when they get to the other end of, of achievement, because hardly anyone sails across the North Pacific. It's one of those places that very, very few people get to go, let alone race across. It's hostile, but it's kind of beautiful in the same you know, aspects. You'll see some amazing seascapes, you know, the size of the waves, color of the water, waves breaking at the tops. And that's kind of matched up with the sky that you'll see, sometimes very, very dark skies, some, hardly any moonlight at times, but then other nights it'll be perfectly clear, beautiful stars out, and it's exhilarating sailing. I think one of the biggest challenges for the crew will face on this leg is the feeling of remoteness that you get from crossing this ocean. A lot of the time, the nearest other people in a vessel to you are the people in the International Space Station because the fleet will be spread out. Everybody's a little bit different, but you really know each other when you're on a race like this. So you know how to deal with everybody and kind of like, oh, we'll just let him be for a couple hours or this one I'm going to give a hug. With the people on my watch, we would like, pass out little treats right before we would go to bed just to kind of get a smile on people's face. And if you're on mother duty, you chat with everybody way more and tell jokes and just keep everybody happy while they're sitting in the galley, having a hearty meal, getting warm again. Pacific was by far the toughest of them. So we were excited when we got in. It was like, thank God, time for a beer and a warm bed. <laughs> it certainly brings into perspective what the ocean can be like. I mean, a lot of people are used to sailing coastally and they don't really appreciate that when you're out in the middle of the North Pacific, which is far from anything, the weather is intense. I mean, 50, 60 knot winds, 50, 60 foot waves, it's mind blowing. You can see it on film, you can watch a movie, but it's not the same as being there. It's surreal, really. I really enjoyed that adrenaline rush and you can't really find it anywhere else. I mean, Clipper is probably the best place to get it. So that's why I'm coming back for more.